today I wanted to talk about mindfulness for kids and it's actually something I'm really passionate about. I don't talk about it very often, but um, I think it is what we should be moving toward in the future and more exposing kids to meditation and just being still because I think it works magic, honestly. So um, I've always meditated for myself. Um, I started meditating I want to say about 10 years ago and I do it off and on but it's an important part of my life and about three or four years ago I decided to start doing it in the classroom with my students because I was having a lot of behavior issues um, I was in a school that actually had a lot of behavior issues it was a title one school and um, we just had a lot of problems so I was grasping grasping at straws at this point and I was like okay so what can I do to change things around because I had some kids with some serious issues that were really struggling at home situations that I knew about I was like okay we're we're gonna try this even though teachers have zero time by the way for anything extra and I do mean anything extra but I carved out time I was like I don't care <laughs> this is what we're doing so um, I found this app that we used and um, I would take about five minutes in the morning five to ten minutes in the morning each day and just have the kids sit and meditate and it was really up to them I was like okay you can sit on the floor you can sit in your chair you cannot do it but you just have to be quiet but we're gonna be still for three to five minutes and on the days that I had the kids meditate and just be still for five minutes in the in the morning behaviors went down and I even had kids that were struggling later on in the day it's like hey Miss Wright can can I just sit and be quiet like we do in the morning? I was like, yeah, sure, baby. So I saw a, an immediate difference. And granted, everything wasn't always sh sunshine and rainbows, but it, it got the kids to slow down and to think more. And what I mean by that is instead of just acting out and reacting without thinking, I saw them thinking before they reacted to whatever happened if a kid hit them or whatever happened they would think more which was really really interesting and I was like this is actually really cool and granted I couldn't do it every day because again teachers have no time to do anything because there's all this stuff jammed into our days but on the days that I didn't do it I saw behavior spike so what can you do at home so with my children, I meditate in the morning and my oldest, she's very, very interested. She will tell me, she's like, mommy, can I meditate with you? And it's something I prefer to do alone, but I meditate with her and she absolutely loves it, loves it, loves it, loves it. And now my youngest, who's three, she, she's like, doesn't want anything to do with it, which is understandable because she's just so young. But right now my five-year-old, she absolutely loves it, requests it, um, in the morning and then sometimes later on in the day. So <clears throat> what can you do at home? There are some apps that I've used with in the classroom as well as with my daughters that I would recommend. Um, I'll leave the link um, to those apps in the description below, but there's two apps that I've used uh, with my children and by ch my children, I mean my students and my, my chickadees in there. Um, the first one is called Calm, and that is the one that I used in the classroom. And the nice thing about Calm is that they have these backgrounds, which is basically a beach underwater, and it has soothing sounds, which was great because I had a giant projector in my room, so I'd be able to put up the background and it'd just be a beach with the water and stuff going or underwater. So and then the speakers in the classroom, like, so they could hear it really, really well. And it was just very calming, which is convenient because the app is called Calm. And they actually have meditations specifically for kids. And there, there's grouping. So there's meditations for like three to five year olds and then seven and blah, 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 blah. So it really targeted targets age groups, depending on how young they are. Because even like the three to five year old one my three year old she's like mm. but my five year old really likes it and I, I've pushed her up but some of the older ones she gets a little bored so and they're very short too 
the the younger ones it's like two to three minutes longer and as they get older they're longer meditation so calm is a great place to start um, as far as meditation for children um, I use it with my kids all the time and my oldest loves it and then there's also one called insight timer and this one is more I think is geared more toward adults but this app has been updated so much recently that they have more kid meditations on there so the insight timer is definitely another one to check out because they are constantly upgrading that app i've been with that app for a long period of time and it's just been completely overhauled and there's more offered on there now so those are the two apps that i recommend if you want to get started with meditation with your kids and think about meditation as uh, just another coping strategy. So if your kid's struggling with whatever, you can use meditation to help them deal with whatever they're dealing with. So say they're suffering from separation anxiety. Um, maybe you, you sit down with your child and say, hey, we're going to meditate for a while because you're feeling anxious, I'm feeling anxious. So let's sit down and meditate. So that is a, a good strategy. So just think about meditation as a strategy to put in your back pocket. And whenever you need something, that's something that you can pull out and say like, hey, like, let's try this, see if it works. And if it doesn't, we'll move on to the next one. Because like I said, my oldest likes it, my youngest doesn't. So I hope that was helpful for you today. Definitely, definitely try it. Try out those two apps, Insight Timer and Calm, or you could just sit quietly for five minutes, but I think guided meditation is important for kids. So let me know in the comments below if you try it and how it goes. I hope it it's great because it's something I'm passionate about. Um, so I hope you enjoy those two apps and I will see you tomorrow.